2007 the movie 21 was coming out so the uh, so it has the poster and the movie tie-in so it says 21 bringing down the house however the original title of this novel is bringing down the house and I shall refer to it as such so moving on the story for bringing down the house is the long-running New York Times bestseller that has become a cultural phenomenon bringing down the house is an action-filled caper carried out by the unlikeliest of cons super smart geeks Gambling pervaded the MIT campus, and genius kids with money and glittering futures were just as likely to be found in a Paradise Island casino as in the school library. A highly elite group of mathletes was recruited to join the club, a small, secret, blackjack organization dedicated to counting cards and beating the major casinos across the nation at their own game. As a successful ring of card savants, backed by a mysterious ringleader and shadowy investors, they infiltrated Vegas and won millions. Now, I have to clarify this. While it is inspired by true events, it is this book is fictionalized, pretty much. It's like some things happened, but a lot didn't. And while you can find this in the nonfiction section, again, I have to clarify, a lot of it is fictionalized. Um, and the person that the, the whole story is based on, that the writer interviewed for this entire book, he does acknowledge in that he does... Um, and he does, uh, but he does like that his book, or book is around because it, uh, it provides, you know, a moral story about you know, not only, not only just about gambling and leading a double life and doing stuff like that, it just show you know, shows how deep addiction can be with gambling and stuff. Now, is it a thrilling story? Yes, it is. It's quite interesting. And it's, it's more realistic than the movie is, if you want to compare it, compare the two. Um, but, uh, it's 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 an enjoyable read. It, you kind of do feel very sympathetic for all the characters in this story. You do feel for all of them, particularly the main character, um, and you kind of hope for the best. You do do want them to win. You want them to win big. You want them to get that money because you want to get them to, you know, uh, not only pay off college loans, especially since they're going to MIT, uh, but you also want them to you know get great futures. You know, you they, you want them to, uh, you know, achieve their goals basically in the future. But at the same time, um, you kind of you kind of feel worried that they're losing grip with with their lives because, as you see further and further, the main character Kevin Lewis, he lives a double life. You know, he he has his school life, his work life, and his family life. But then that gets interrupted with his casino life on the weekends, and he 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 starts losing grasp with his family and work life, especially since he was getting a girlfriend at the time. He loses contact with her. There's just breaks up with her, and it just. And, and and you just feel sorry for him. It's like he couldn't keep that, and you wish he could try and balance both, or at least just give up on that life. Because as the story goes on, and think more and more things happen. I mean, his life gets threatened a few times. His friends, there's conflict between his friends and the group that he's with. It's just, it's it's just it's just kind of a, it's almost a tragedy in a sense. Um, it's not it's not a full blown tragedy because not a, nobody dies, but it's just you know. It's just he's he he tried to gain so much. It, it's a tragedy in the sense that he gained so much, you know, wealth and stuff and high life and all that stuff. The Vegas, you know, the tr Vegas dream life in a sense, and he lost everything. So everything that that in a sense the money would be good for is no longer there. And you, you just kind of see this the selfishness just start building. But it's very subtle at first because you don't. It's kind of hard to pinpoint where exactly. The addiction the selfishness starts <laughs> and it's just just building 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 and you just go along with it and um and, you, and again you wish you could keep the family alive but you kind of go along with this because it, it's engaging it's interesting so it, it's it, it's 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 a tragedy in the sense that uh, you lose so much to gain a lot of wealth now there's not a lot of um there's not a lot of you know detail to talk about because it's just a, it's very much a simple thriller there's not a lot of ca character development or or plot points or stuff like that but it is just an interesting anal anal uh, analytical story about morals and you know how, fo how how you can go too far and lose a lot so but it is pretty cool and uh 
and it does state yes card counting is in a sense legal it's not illegal it is actually legal it's just frowned upon but then a lot of casinos will go the extra mile to uh, try and prevent it um, <laughs> so uh, yeah it is but uh, overall it is a good read it is very entertaining I will admit the uh, the writer while this is his first nonfiction attempt it is um, while well, like I said heavily fictionalized it is engaging it is fun and it is realistic and just fun to, fun to read it is um it doesn't it, it, it doesn't you know try to go over the top too much it, it doesn't it doesn't play like the like a better term the villainous characters which is like the detectives and security guards that uh that um uh that uh that uh that, uh, that, uh, that, that hunt our characters they're they, they don't they're not really they're not uh over the top villains they're not like uh, you know mustache twirlers or you know maniacal creatures they're actually just security henchmen in a way and they're just they don't intend to kill our characters they're just you know enforcing you know that the card counting is frowned upon uh so it's interesting to see that in a sense as opposed to like in the movies or something where characters like that are always villainous and good to actually eventually kill our characters so it was interesting to see that being different um and like i said it's a good read i uh give this story um I give the story like three stars out of out of five. It is enjoyable. It is uh, like it is enjoyable, fun, engaging, and uh, something to really think about when you're going to Vegas. About you know, it is you know good. To, it's fun to gamble. Just don't make a big deal about it. You know, don't you know make a sport out of it. Just if you win some, you lose some. You know, don't go too far. So, thank you for watching. Um, hope you have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye. And also, um, before I forget, uh, and like I said, in comparison to the movie, the movie is a bit more over the top and more heavily fictionalized. It is more inspired by the book that's inspired by life. So inspired, inspired, less facts, facts, facts. Um, but the movie itself is good if you ever want to watch it. So thank you again for watching and have a good night. Bye.